Hey guys, welcome to today's lesson. Today we're looking at the solving of linear equations via the graphics calculator for the IB Math Studies course. Um, I guess before I even look at the questions, I actually want to look at this word linear and what that represents. Because sometimes you need to distinguish between linear and a quadratic and some other graphs. So, I'm going to go back into, um, you know, I guess some uh, graph sketching maybe a few years ago. And we looked at drawing a graph of y equals x plus 3, where it goes through the point or the y-axis uh, value of 3. And that becomes what we refer to as a straight line graph. Okay, a straight line graph, otherwise known as a linear graph. Now, if I compare that with, let's say, um, another one that you will do, a parabola, let's say y equals x squared plus 3, that's going to look something like this, a nice curved line, we refer to that as a parabola. So looking at these two graphs, what is different? Okay, well hopefully we can recognize that the plus 3 is the same, and that simply refers to the y-intercept, okay, but what you'll notice is that the x's are different. For the linear graph, okay, linear, we have x to the power of 1. For the parabola, we have x to the power of 2. For a cubic, what do you reckon it might be? x to the power of 3. So it's the leading, co uh, leading term or the leading index, leading power, leading exponent, okay, highest degree is another one we can often call it. Okay, the 1, 2, the 3, that determines the type of graph. So today, we're looking at all the uh, kind of equations that have 5x to the power of 1. Okay, so let's move to our graphics calculator. So you can see I've already highlighted with our uh, arrows the equations, um, so a symbol. So I'm going to enter that in there. And then we've got three different options. Okay, now this is important because we'll be using all three options, um, not today obviously. But for linear, okay, for linear, we're looking at the F3 solver. Now, if I go into simultaneous, that brings up simultaneous equations. A polynomial will bring up things like parabolas and cubics. So we want to go into the F3 solver, um, and that's the one that we use um, for any uh, linear equations. Please don't use F3 solver for any other equations, just linear. Okay. So now I'm going to try and replicate that uh, fraction there. So I'm going to put the fraction key in first. I can put my 5, I'm going to press my X key. You can see it's a little curvy X, but to be honest, you can use any of the red letters that you wish to use. Um, but X is nice and easy. Plus 3, we're going to press down and we get the 7. Now, this is the one that a lot of people get um, so muddled with. You don't press X here because if I do that, look what happens. It tries to solve it and doesn't work out quite well. So, what we want to do is go back to that. And then we want to press our shift key because above the period or the decimal point, you can see a little equal sign. That's the one that we need to push in. We can say it equals 8. Now we can press x. -y. Again, it hasn't solved it though. It says x equals 0, but you'll notice this solving key over here. If I press F6, look at that. Bob's your uncle. Now, in terms of... Um, your solution for IB, you don't actually need to write any working out. Okay, we can just write x equals 10.6. Just ensure though that whatever your um, your variable is, it might be 5a, it might be 5p, 5q, whatever. Let's make sure we write that. The issue is on the calculator, we use x's mostly. Okay, but we can use the X to represent different letters. So just be ensuring that you've got that. Now, what does this left equals eight, right equals eight mean? Well, it just means the left-hand side, when I substitute 10.6 in, is equal to eight, and the right-hand side is equal to eight. Sometimes people will actually write left equals eight and right equals eight. 
that's up to you if you want to write that down okay but it's certainly not necessary um, but you know what sometimes more information is sometimes better than less information okay what I'd like you to do guys is to have a crack at this question and then see what the answer was okay how'd you go so I'm gonna press my exit button because that gets me back into um, I've gone one too far there gets me back into this but you can see it's now highlighted if not just press your left and right keys here and that will um, sort you out but I'm going to type in 5x and then minus 3 the equal sign so shift decimal point and then 2x plus 6 okay I'm going to press equals notice it's still got the same answer as the last question so be very careful there I must press solve and now we can write our solution as x is equal to 3 so x is equal to 3 once again if you want to write um, left equals 12 right equals 12 okay just means that 5 times 3 is 15 take away 3 is 12 2 times 3 is 6 plus 6 is 12 just shows the balancing part but this is the ish bit there that we need to be showing okay we've got one more question okay once again have a crack at the question and let's come back and see how you went all right so I'm going to press my exit okay and then I'm going to go back up and then I can start typing it in 5 now take away I'm going to press my fraction key because we've got that whole fraction there and we've got the 2 the x the plus 3 all over 6 press across then go to my equal sign fraction key again 4x plus 1 all over 2 all right so pretty complex linear equation there if I now press my final solve okay um, we get our solution there now one of the big things with the IB course is your rounding and that's where a lot of people do make mistakes so my advice is this write down x equals 1.7714 uh, let's make sure we write the number down correctly so 7142857 five seven one four even if it says round this to three significant figures or three decimal places when asked decimal places will ask significant figures um, this is how we should write our first answer because that that first answer is there okay now if it doesn't mention what you can what you what they want then I'd say do it to um, two three or four significant figures um, theoretically if you do one significant figure as long as it's absolutely correct you'll get it right but I'm going to put one point seven one that's my three significant figures and you can see where I got the answer from above okay really important that you have your rounding down pat for these exams look guys that's a really brief introduction of solving linear equations um, the next one will be solving linear equations um, and then we'll finish off with some quadratics hope that made a bit of sense to you that was useful um, give me an email if it wasn't and uh, otherwise have a good day